So there isn't a single diagnostic test for systemic sclerosis. As clinicians, we're aided on the patient characteristics. We know this is a condition that affects ladies far more often than males, for example. As Professor Denton was saying, people between the ages of 30 and 60. So the, the, time, the timing of the disease onset is important. Microvascular imaging is, is, is important. We've heard a little bit about the changes that you can view at the nail folds, and there are representatives here from uh, Salford Foundation Trust who will be able to show you some of those tools. There's the clinical features that people are presenting with. So Raynaud's phenomenon, puffy fingers, gastroesophageal reflux, and no doubt we'll hear more about that from uh, Dr. Delgado's talk. And then finally, these autoantibodies. And these all form part of a jigsaw, and when we put all those pieces together as clinicians, we look, step back, look at the jigsaw, and then decide what we feel the diagnosis is based on that clinical picture.